there's a feature in the auto blogger and I'm going to scroll down a bit. It's called the custom text prompt and we can actually use this feature to humanize our AI outputs so that our articles read better. They pass AI content detectors. And so that if you're worried about this, I'm not that worried about this, but it may help against Google misclassifying your content as generated by AI. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to do that, how to run this tool with humanized text. Let's get into it. Now, this is a PDF document by Matt Diggity. Shout out to Diggity Marketing. I'm not going to go through this whole PDF because it's his to sell, his to teach. We are going to use one prompt from it to turn all of our AI outputs into content that has more natural human language and flow. His basic theory is this. You give ChatGPT a prompt that asks it to summarize your writing, analyze the tone, how I form sentences and paragraphs, the level of detail I use, explanations, the amount of humor, write a 200 word summary of that writing style, and then generate content using that writing style. Hopefully your writing style is unique and catered to you. It's completely personalized. The GPT-4 model has a good understanding of how that text output would look. And then it writes all of its future articles using your style. Let's give it a shot. I'm going to copy this text. Here I am in chat GPT. I'm going to paste it in. And because it's a PDF document, I'm going to have to format this a bit better. All right, I formatted the prompt a bit better. Now I'm going to paste in my article. For that, I'm going to jump in the way back machine when I wanted to be a writer. I had my own Medium page. Nothing really came of it, but I did post some of my favorite content here. And I'm going to choose this article titled, I've Had Enough. It's about when I got an email from Jimmy at Wikipedia. You know, every once in a while, Wikipedia asks for donations. This was one of those emails. The subject line was, I've had enough. It made my heart skip a beat. So I opened the email. I learned it was about their donations. I actually made a donation because of that email and it inspired me to write this article. It was such an effective email subject line. Okay, I'm gonna take this, let's copy it, go back into ChatGPT, paste it into my prompt. Again, I'm gonna format it a bit better. Okay, let's send that through. So this is the response from ChatGPT. In my honest opinion, I think this is a bit too long. Maybe 200 words is not the right prompt. I'm gonna copy this all again. Let's create a new chat. And I'm changing give me a 200 word summary to give me a two to three sentence summary. Let's send this in. This is definitely way more than two to three sentences. Hopefully we'll get better results with GPT-5. But I think this is something we can work with. It says my writing style is engaging and conversational, employing a direct and personal tone to connect with the reader. I effectively use real life examples to illustrate a point. I use a first person narrative and rhetorical questions that draw the reader in making the content relatable and encouraging them to consider their own practices. It's pretty apparent that this isn't something I'm going to be able to throw directly into a prompt and get the result I want. I'm gonna have to fix it up again. But before I do that, let's hop over to the autoblogger and set everything up. This is the web app I built. Soon we're gonna be able to use it for all of your AI content marketing needs. Start by going to autoblogger.app. You're gonna land on this sign up page, enter your name, your email address, a password, re-enter your password, and then click sign up. When you first log in, it's gonna bring you to the connections page. I offer six connections right now. We have Blogger, Shopify, Webflow, WordPress.com, WordPress.org, and X. We want to create hundreds of SEO optimized articles using our humanized text, which means I want to set up my website. And let's say I was hosted on WordPress.com. I'm going to click this. Then I need to name my WordPress.com integration. I'm going to call it Tech Junkie. Then I'll click Connect. It brings me to the WordPress.com consent screen. This is my website here, so I'm going to approve that. And if we have a successful integration on my connections page, I see that brand new connection from WordPress.com. I can rename it. 
I see the wordpress.com ID. I can also remove this connection and start again if I need to. Next, I'm gonna click API keys and we need to add our OpenAI secret key. So to get that, I'm gonna click this hyperlink. It's going to take me to platform.openai.com slash API keys. And I'm gonna create a new secret key. Let's call this human eyes. I'm gonna click create secret key, copy this key, go back into my settings and paste it in here. Now the developer portion of OpenAI just switched to a credit system for their billing. So go to settings, billing, you're going to add a valid payment method and then add some credits to your balance. Starting off with just $5 will work perfectly fine. I have $8.89 in my credit balance, which means we're good to go. Next, if you don't have an active subscription yet, you're gonna click on the subscription tab and then subscribe to the Autoblogger. This app is $9 per month. You get unlimited workflows, unlimited websites or connections added. Once subscribed, it's gonna take you to the homepage where it asks you which tasks you want to create. We have auto blogging, SEO heist, and running an X or Twitter bot. We want to create SEO optimized articles. So I'm gonna click auto blogging. It's gonna take me to the auto blogger page. Here we see our most recent integration, which is the tech junkie wordpress.com website. We want all of our articles to be published. Our text model, I'm gonna choose GPT-4 Turbo. The image model, we can choose DALI 3. Our language is English. Let's post a new article every 24 hours. If you want to add an internal, external, or affiliate link at the bottom of your articles, you can use the link URL and link text fields. Whatever you put in the link text will be hyperlinked with this link URL. I'm gonna leave that blank for now. We have our image prompt. By default, it says no words, illustration only, colorful and modern. We'll keep that as is. And now we have the text prompt. So let's go back over to ChatGPT. I'm gonna copy this output, go back into the auto blogger, paste it in here. I'm gonna fix this up a bit. Instead of saying your writing style, I'm gonna say use a writing style. We'll go that's engaging and conversational. All right, this is the final text prompt. If you wanna pause the video now, you can see what I wrote. I'm using a lot of use language but this is supposed to be a summary of my writing style. I'm a human, so I should write like a human. Therefore, this summary should encourage the GPT-4 model to write like a human as well. Next, we're gonna input a list of keywords. In this mock example, my website is called Tech Junkie. I use two long tail keywords, top computers 2024 and top smartphones for traveling. All right, let's hit generate posts. And we get this notification, the AI articles have been scheduled. Please check your wordpress.com website to see the results. I'm gonna click okay. It takes me to the workflows page. I can see my newest workflow. I have two keywords in this workflow. The interval is every 24 hours. We have the keyword that it's writing an article for. The start date, we can cancel this workflow or I can see more info about it by clicking the button here. Now in my wordpress.com dashboard, I see the newest articles. I'm gonna click on it. It gave us a featured image generated with DALI 3. This fits perfectly with this blog post. It automatically set the slug for us as top computers 2024. Now I'm gonna scroll down. Already I see that this article is way more humanized. Look how it starts. So you're in the market for a new computer in 2024, huh? As technology evolves faster than a season change in Westeros, it's no wonder we're constantly on the lookout for the latest and greatest. Where is Westeros? Oh, I think it's a Game of Thrones joke. That's amazing, I love it. I don't know about you, but I think this article is way better than something we could have generated without a humanized prompt. And to test that, let me quickly put write an article about top computers 2024 into ChatGPT and it seems pretty matter of fact, pretty bland. There's no humor in it. I like that it's linking things now. That must be a new feature. It's also a really short article. To me at least, this blog post is far and away much better. Now I've been thinking about building a humanized feature right into the autoblogger. If this is something you want, please write in the comments below. What I'm visualizing is from the settings page. We'll have an account section where you can upload your past articles written by you. I'll do some magic in the back end. 
fix up the prompt for you so you don't have to touch a thing, summarize your writing style, get something that we can use, and then either with auto blogging or the SEO heist, we'll add a humanized toggle where when you check it, it will personalize all the outputs for your writing style. Let me know what you think or how it should work, and I'd love to build this feature for you. If you wanna use the auto blogger for yourself and humanize some outputs, I have a link to this web app in the description below. I also built and designed an online course called How to Build a Custom AI App. You have your custom GPTs or AI app ideas. This course will teach you how to make them a reality. The auto blogger, the web app I built is a perfect demonstration of what is possible. A link for this is also gonna be in the description below. And if you like this video, I put two more on the screen right now. Both have been catered to your personal YouTube watch history. Give one of them a click for me, give it a watch, and I'll see you in there later.